Hello Libra, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you who views, likes, comments, subscribes. Thank you for the support very much. So there's no way this can connect to every single viewer out there, so take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect. Welcome cross watchers, which are people who watch their loved ones' videos. So the oracle cards go here, which are for you, and the tarot cards over here, which are the energies around you, but you could show up over here as well. You decide how the cards apply to you. So the first one for you is push to surface 27. So you may be, you have may, you may have become complacent. You might be stalling or in need of a new surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So something beautiful is happening, you don't see it, I'm assuming by what the card says, that something that was dark is getting ready to be exposed in the light, which is going to free you in some sort of way, or heal you, or help you to deal with some emotion. So there's something happening in your life right now that is really beautiful. And so... They're saying that you may have just become sitting around and you're not dealing with something and there's something going on they want you to be grateful for and appreciate that can motivate you and help you go back to the dynamics of your life versus where you are looking at things right now or feeling things. So the next one is 40, Rediscover Your Zeal. So this kind of goes hand in hand, like if you push to the surface, you rediscover your desire, your passion, what, wants, what makes you want to get up every day. This is the flame angelfish. So I feel like this is saying, find what inspires you, find what would make you want to get up every day and go to work. Or make you get up every day and volunteer. Or make you get up and go take care of yourself, like be healthier, go for a walk, or go talk to people or just go out in nature or go be with animals. There's certain things that they say are in your life right now that you're not noticing that could rebalance what is going on right now. All right, so chakra wisdom deck for you is two of coins. So two of coins is a couple things. This is usually being flexible, compromising in a situation. My analogy is the boat says you can come with us to Hawaii, but she can only bring two luggage, and she has three luggage. So she can either get on the boat and go to Hawaii and leave one luggage, or stay with all her three luggage and not go to Hawaii. There's some sort of situation coming up in your life where you may need to make a choice like that, and try to weigh the benefits and make the best choice. The Hermit. So the hermit kind of draws me up here to the dark and push to surface like you've been withdrawing yourself, you've been being solid, solitaire by yourself, you've withdraw from people. Maybe there was a situation where somebody had to choose between you and somebody else and they didn't choose you so you went dark trying to figure out what the answer, why things went the way they did. This also means clarity to me, the universe, the universe. The hermit can look in the lantern and get the answers and the clarity. And see, push the surface makes me think of clarity and answers as well. Three of Cups is celebration, happiness. This usually sometimes means my happiness of third party situation before everybody knows there's a third party situation. So that's what this could mean. We'll see what other cards come up after this. But otherwise, there's some sort of illumination or spotlight or something for you to learn on a friend situation. So Queen of Swords, wow. So Queen of Swords is somebody who's very bitter. I don't know if there was a betrayal in a friend situation, but she's very harsh with her words, very matter-of-factly. Um... A lot of people can be fearful of the Queen of Swords because she just doesn't, she's been hurt and she's turned it into bitter instead of healing. So Two of Wands. So Two of Wands is clarifying the Two of Coins. So I do feel like somebody had to make a decision um, involving other people, like somebody in a three-way, a third-party situation had to make a decision and cut somebody out and they couldn't figure out what person to, to cut out or something of that situation. 
So the Fool. The Fool is my precursor to taking a leap of faith, doing something you've never done before. It's also my precursor to before love comes into your life. Unexpectedly. <laughs> so Nine of Wands is somebody who has a lot of offers, a lot of people wanting to pursue them, but they only have um, a flame for one particular person. The Moon. So the Moon is clarifying the Queen of Swords. So this tells me that something is balancing now, um, something that wasn't known, became known, or is going to become known, and it's going to balance a situation out. And that's why I feel like the Queen of Swords was harsh, because she found something out. And I feel like she had to um, dispute it or communicate something about it. So then we have Two of Swords. Wow, you guys. So we have Two of Coins, Two of Wands, and Two of Swords. So somebody's in denial. There's something around two people in the situation, Libra, that's very powerful because the twos keep coming up. Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is somebody younger than you, spying on you, wanting to communicate with you. Princess of Coins. Princess of Coins is somebody who's offering friendship, offering stability, and Seven of Swords. So there's some sort of sneakiness, lying, vindictiveness, I feel like that's going to be come known to you. Like you didn't know before, but it's getting ready to be knowledge to you. Maybe there's two people that have been sneaking and lying, that were friends. So then you have Ten of C. So Ten of C is my card about being vulnerable, being with people who make you feel relaxed and happy. You can be yourself with traveling, people you would vacation with. I feel like there's an ending. Some sort of ending because there was denial in the situation in some way. So the world. So the universe wants this to happen because they want your world to change. They see your happiness going in a new direction. And this is going to change that. So the priestess. So the priestess talks about somebody who is very honest, very spiritual. This person could be a healer, could be a psychic, very high intuition. And then blame. So there's some sort of blame or these people who are lying and gossiping or attacking this person's religion or their spirituality. And then Seven of Sky. Somebody taking when somebody isn't looking. Just I feel like a lot of chaos between friends. So Four of C is depression. Somebody who I feel like you're depressed maybe Libra. Like you're not happy where you are. You want to leave, you feel drawn to a new place or something. Ace of Sky. Ace of Sky is truth coming out, knowledge, and then Five of Sky. So Five of Sky is someone blaming something on a situation where a group of people did something to one person. And, excuse me, there's lying and blame going on there. This also is a warning that if you get funny feelings or when you meet people or when people ask you to do something and you were like, you don't really want to do it and your body tells you don't do it but you do it anyway, you're just making your life harder on yourself. Listen to your intuition. Find a way to get out of that situation. Your intuition is warning you. Listen to it and remove yourself. The sun, beautiful Libra. So this is happiness. So you're going to have success and victory over this negative energy, this lying, this gossiping, these people who are trying to hold you back. Ace of Earth is an illusion with some sort of family structure, some sort of stability. There was some mis... somebody misled on a structure, some sort of belonging, some, and you had a feeling about it. So five of fire is wedding, or four. Four of fire is wedding, long-term commitment, marriage. Six of earth is generosity. Somebody who helps somebody, I feel like, turned on them. They were helping them for a reason, for a gain. So then you have eight of sky. So eight of sky is somebody feeling stuck. Grace. Grace talks about stay on your path, talk kind to yourself, tell yourself positive affirmations. Yes, things didn't work out the way you wanted. Somebody misled you. 
but that you can move away from that. So the hermit is, again, something about withdrawing from a marriage or long-term commitment, trying to get clarity, um, answers, trying to make right decisions. And then the wheel, wow. So the wheel is a cycle changing, your life changing, um, you're getting clarity and things are changing. You, It's time. I feel like with everything that took place here, it was changing a cycle. It was ending a cycle to move on to a new one. All right, so let's do the Oracle of E. Excuse me. And you have silver lining 37. So this would equal 10 if you add the numbers. Silver lining um, to me means that there you'll see later on why something went the way it did. There's a silver lining to it. So 26 is talking smack around energies around you, talking about you, trying to cause problems, trying to keep you from your happiness, trying to keep you from feeling passion and positivity and excitement. Somebody does not want you to be happy and move on and feel good about yourself. It's weird. So the next one is understanding too. So this says talk about you're going towards your light. There's going to be twists and turns. There's going to be reasons. I mean, it's silver lining and understanding. There's reasons why things happen the way they do. And we can't always know the answers to why we why they happen. But we can trust and believe that they're for our highest good. They're leading us to our garden, our happiness, our fulfillment. Next one is 11, inspiration, which is a master number. So to me, this talks about being inspired. You have the passion and angel fish up here. You have a lot of um, cards where it's almost like people are trying to make you not inspired. People are trying to let your air out and deflate you so you don't know how strong you are. So you don't know the choices you have in life that you can choose to go no matter how cold or dark. You are strong enough to make those choices and go down those paths and come out the other end beautiful no matter how hard that cycle was or that forest I feel like you have many new beginnings you're going to have new faith new passion and you are strong you have the instinct so the angels ancestors is night be brave and honest so this talks about his chalice being full um, new love coming in, there's a tear on his eye, the book says, to where he believes in his faith, and he cries for the lesser of mankind, um, the underdog, if you will, the people who can't speak for themselves. So a lot of belief in here, a lot of faith in your higher power, religion, spiritual, whatever that may be for you. Wow. There's something you're really, that you are strong on, I feel. Um about you, something about you that's really strong, really passionate. You have a very strong passion about something. So the last one is Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. So the Spirit Fox to me is clever, adaptable. You have the fox right, I mean the wolf right here and then you have the fox. So you have the stability and the strong instinct of the wolf but you also have the clever sharpness of the fox the adaptability of both the animals. I feel like you are have a new new light about you. You're going towards a new happiness, a new cycle where you're going to be happy. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have passion. And it was time. I feel like you were 100% ready for this. So thank you so much, Libra. Bless you.